Prevention of biofilm is extremely difficult. And the reason is, is that we have bacteria in our skin, there's bacteria in the environment, and even in the very highly controlled um, environment of the operating room, there are bacteria around. Now, if bacteria can get, now, so in, during a surgery, of course, we're inflicting a wound. It's a very, it's a, it's a, it's a very controlled wound, but it's a wound non, nonetheless. We're letting those organisms come in. Prevention is extremely difficult. A surface has not been found yet which, res which totally resists um, uh, bacterial adhesion. And so when I say a surface, this could be a sort of metal surface, it could be an implant surface, but also just the bone itself. So basically, I think what we're looking at here is a sort of an odds game. So when a patient is undergoing surgery, as a surgeon's knife um, comes through the skin, bacteria can be drawn in. If that, that, that bacteria escape the uh, host immune, uh, immunity for, for a short period of time to actually get to the surface, then they can start to form biofilm. So it's certainly in the, re in the, in the uh, research arena, there's a lot of new um, uh, research being done on like new surfaces, new materials, um, antibiotic impregnated materials, um, nanotextured materials, uh, novel antimicrobials which are being sort of um, uh, put onto surfaces, but as yet not many of these have been sort of made into sort of practical use, at least in orthopedics. And part of that is you have to sort of, you know, think about the, um, the constraints that an orthopedic implant has to, um, uh, has to undergo. It has to be physically strong. Um, there's articulating surfaces. And so, of course, if you have a, um, um, if you have a surface which has been engineered to um, have an antimicrobial property, but it's, it's relatively weak or it can be um, abraded, then that's not going to work in, in, in that situation. So, so as best we can do at the moment is with prevention is to really try to prevent the bacteria coming from there in the first place. And even with our extremely sof um, uh, sophisticated drapes and um, infection control at time of surgery, we still know that between one, one and two percent are getting infected.